Have Faith, Let It Begin. And it's Tuesday, September 24th, pre-show edition, two minutes away from going live. That's right. We're waiting for the post notifications to go out so that we, together, can prepare ourselves for the next level. Folks, I hope that each and every single one of you are prepared for today's episode. It's going to be entitled, Why Me? Yep, that's, 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 that's pretty much self-explanatory. But uh, get ready, because in another minute and a half, we'll just you know, basically go over that. Remind everybody, post notifications are going out, and uh, you can subscribe to us. We'd like to welcome our new viewer. Our new listener to our show, Kira, welcome to the show. We got you yesterday at a follow-up, and we'd like to welcome our new viewers like uh, Brittany, welcome as well, and, uh, you know, constant viewers, of course, Ashley, Freddie, Chip, uh, Miguel, Robin, uh, these are our constant people, Leslie, uh, continued prayers for Crystal, Tijuana, Samantha, I know Samantha's a big day uh, in surgery, um, so we're going to be praying for you at the end of today's episode. Uh, Folks, let's get ready for another rendition of Half Faith, Let It Begin, and we're going to do this right now. On June 16th, 2018, I launched this show, Half Faith, Let It Begin. Join me each and every weekday at 7.30 a.m. live, because this is a show all about faith, motivational topics, inspirational stories, personal testimony designed for you, the daily commuter. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. I was born on March 9th, 1978. My name is Angel, and when I was born, my mom always told me, Angel, when you were born, all the angels came from heaven. Do you know why? Because you're special. Are you looking for something different? Are you driving to work every morning and saying to yourself, hmm, what could I do to pass the time? Well, here's a show for you. Weekdays, Monday through Friday. Half Faith, Let It Begin. It is a show designed for you, the daily commuter. Motivational topics, inspirational stories, personal testimony set out to change the world. Join us every morning live at 7.30 a.m. Because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. 10 seconds to go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the live edition of Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel. How'd you like that little season premiere? A uh, little <laughs> little editing there. A little bit of uh, all the intros we've had throughout the summer. Thought it'd be kind of cool to do something a little different this morning. And I hope that each and every one of you had a blessed Monday. Let's get Tuesday underway because today is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today, Tuesday, September 24th, 2019. We welcome new viewers like Kira, Brittany. We continue to... Welcome each and every one of you as we join this platform each and every weekday at 7.30 a.m. live. Today's episode is called, Why Me? And you're probably asking yourself, well, why me? Well, let, let me get a little bit more detail as to why I picked that title this morning. As I was walking Cody and Ariel this morning um, and on my daily walk, this you know, to why I walk uh, Cody, um, I'm seeing high school kids prepare for the bus. And I hear a lot of the comments I don't know why this always happens to me. I don't know why this. And it got me thinking, how many times have you or any of us heard that phrase or have said that phrase, why me? Why is it that often we consider or we think that things are happening to us for a reason? Let me explain though. Sometimes we all know that things happen for a reason, but some of us believe that we have things that happen to us because we need to be punished or that we're being punished or that we're cursed or that we feel that our life just is never going to get any better. I can tell you this, God doesn't give us so much that we can't handle. God is with us every step of the way. Allow yourself the ability to know that the reason why things have happened, in my opinion, is because God is planning to do something with your life 
and he is preparing you for what's next. It's never a punishment. Yes, our faith is tested. Yes, things will happen. Free will happens. There's nothing that we can do to stop something from negative from happening. It may happen, but when it does happen, sometimes there's always some good to it. Sometimes we find ourselves in a position or a predicament that say to ourselves, wow, all this went down, but look what I got out of it. Look what I learned from it. Some of us have so many things that occur to us and it's a teachable teachable moment. It's a learning experience and we don't learn a thing. Sometimes we get put in a position where we're asked to lie and some of us make poor choices. Some of us make the right choices. And then when things happen, some of us don't realize that it was a test. It was a learning experience. And unfortunately, too many of us fail the test because we continue to do what we're asked not to do. Now, it's very simple and it's very easy for me to sit here on this platform and say to you, well, you've never been put in this position, Angel. Well, I can tell you, if you oh, I just hit the curve there. Um, I can tell you this. I've been in many positions, many jobs where I've been asked to lie. And if some of you have heard in my past jobs, I was put in positions. I was put in a very, very tight, difficult situation. And I chose not to lie. I chose to do the right thing. Ultimately, the job that I considered to be something that I may have wanted to do for the rest of my life, ultimately ended. But what I got out of it, what I learned from it, was exactly what I expected. Sometimes we're going to go through life and say things like, oh my goodness, my car just broke down. Why me? I just got caught up with my bills. A couple weeks ago, we've had an episode about that. And people still write to me and say, you know, I feel like every single day, every other day, every single week or every other week, I'm always saying, why me? (coughs) Excuse me. Well, I can only give you my personal testimony of this. Sometimes I feel that when I'm farther away from God, when I'm not praying, when I'm not thinking about what is right for me, and my family and what I'm actually doing right by others that's when I realize I have to take three steps back before I can take three steps forward sometimes we pray to God and we ask him for forgiveness we ask him to understand ask him to show us and lead us on the right path And you wait for this path to appear. You wait for all these doors. And the one that opens is the one that you feel like you should take. But sometimes the paths don't show up, do they? Sometimes those doors don't open. But yet you find yourself in a sea full of doors. And you have no idea which one to open. Which one to choose. When you hear the voice of God tell you, don't choose that. Don't do that. That little thing in your head that you hear, I believe that is the voice of God. I believe that is the Holy Spirit telling you what to do. Trust your instincts. Rely on your gut. Rely on your upbringing. Remember not to allow anyone to steer you in the wrong direction. If you feel like you're in a position at work where you're not doing all that you can or living up to the statues or the standards that you should be living by, meaning that you believe in, then maybe it's time to take a stand. Maybe it's time to realize that the decisions that you're making are not the right ones. I felt that way many times. And every time I realized that what I was doing was wrong, when I finally took a stand, I find that my life continued to get better and better. Now I'm at a position where I will never allow myself. 
let me rephrase that because I can never say never, right? But I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that I take a stand and I do not allow myself to do things that I know are wrong. Why me? I have turned that phrase into something different. Now when I say why me, I say, thanks God for making me. Thanks God for choosing me. Praise God for having me. Think about that as you go into the workplace today. Think about that as you drive home or as somebody cuts you off or if somebody ticks you off or if you get home and you realize there's 20, 30 bills stacked up. Try and say, thanks. Thank you, God, for making me. Try to refrain from saying, why me? That's all I got to say this morning. Let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's episode. We thank you for courage, for confidence, for guidance. We pray today for Samantha and her surgery. May the doctors find everything that they are looking for. They remove the cancer. They do all that they can to keep her on this earth. They do all that they can to keep her fighting the good fight. We pray for Crystal and her rehabilitation, as well as Barbara, for Tuwana, for those that are in jobs that are of uncertainty, for those that are in jobs that put them in a position to feel like they're doing the wrong thing. Lord, come into their heart, allow them to hear your words, allow them to see the correct path, allow them to open the doors that they feel are comfortable to open so that they can follow the road to victory. We pray for our military personnel, foreign and domestic. We pray for those first responders who do everything in their power to keep us safe. We pray for mentors and mentorship. We pray for friends, brothers and sisters and wives, nieces and nephews. We pray for children all over the world. As they go into school, we ask you to keep them safe. We keep everyone out of arm's way. And we ask this of you. In your precious name. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a good day, everyone. Don't forget, have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>